He hails from the small coastal town called Brunswick. He's a professional tournament angler and a professional guide down here 365 days a year. His name is Captain Scott Owens, and he truly has his fingers on the pulse of everything fishing in South Georgia. You don't see this beautiful marsh in Jacksonville. You don't see it in St. Augustine. You don't see it in Daytona. Um, you come over those first few bridges in Georgia, and you just see miles of gold-colored grass. That we've got as you know the backdrop back here, and it's just it's beautiful. We have a lot a lot of water here. Even though Georgia's coast is only about 80 miles long, uh, ocean side, the the marsh and everything runs way in, and uh, some spots you know 20, 30 miles inland. So we've got thousands and thousands of miles of uh, habitat for fish to to, to be in, and. Um, here, there's just not near as much pressure. You know, we don't have, you know, you don't see 40, 50 boats out on the water fishing spots every day. Uh, most of the days, you might see, you know, four or five boats out. And uh, the fishing is just, it's, it's, a, it's a well kept secret here. Morning, Scott. Good morning. How are you? Good. You ready? Yeah, man. All right. We've got, you know, trout and redfish that are year round species. Summertime months, we've got sharks, we've got tarpon, we've got kingfish, we've got bottom fish. Um, the, the fishing just is pretty much incredible year round here. And, and most people take Georgia as for, for granted as a fishing destination. And uh, it really is a, is a great fishing destination. Got him on the reel. Aggressive, totally aggressive. That fly just touched and bang, he was on it. You did everything just right, man. I mean, there's really not much else to do. You uh, you presented the fly just right into the school. We're fishing, like I say, a real light fly, so it doesn't hit the water real hard. If we were throwing a jig head with a paddle tail or some kind of jerk bait, and you would have thrown in the school like that, it would have spooked them. And that's one of the, the advantages to getting out here with the fly rod, is that you can present that bait or that fly in our case right at the fish's face, right right on their dinner plate. And they fight like crazy. Yeah, I yeah. Mean. Especially this time of year, you know, they've got a lot of energy because the oxygen levels are a lot higher when the water is down in the, in the you know, the low 70s and, and mid 60s. And it makes a huge difference um, in, in the actual fight of the fish as well. I guarantee you this is the biggest redfish I've ever caught. Excellent, man, that's what it's all about. That's why you came here. Big fish, man. Nice. That's a good 10, 12 pound fish. Oh yeah, he's a stud, but look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that is remarkable. First cast of the morning. First cast of the morning. First man. location. Yep. 12 pound red. Yep, just like that. You can't beat it. No, man. Man, that was tremendous. Biggest redfish, first cast, first location of the morning. I think I might be coming back to Georgia, Scott. That's what I was trying to get in. Bring him in and I'll grab him right here for you. Nice. Now that's a nice fish. I mean, that's a great fish. Got some good spots on him. They're fat and they fight like crazy. Pound for pound, they fight like, like mad. We're heading down to Cumberland Island to do some trout fishing. This is Cumberland Island, just off of St. Simon Island in Georgia, and right there are actual wild horses. A lot of people don't just come out to fill coolers. Um, they come out because they sit in an office five, six days a week, working eight, ten-hour days, and just to get out on the water and the peace Mother Nature offers. You know, on the water, when you get down somewhere like Cumberland, where you can't hear cars, you can't hear, you know, there's no people, there's no sirens, there's nothing. It's just peace and quiet. Mother Nature at its best. So this is one thing we've got here on the, on the coast of Georgia that's just a lot of fun for families um, and, you know, the avid angler. Um, it's just really nonstop action um, year-round. I don't know, we probably caught 40, 50 trout already, and Rob's got another nice fish right there behind us. You know, a good day, a good day this time of year, you catch a hundred plus trout. And as you can see, it is literally every cast. All right, now lift him up. Let me grab that line. Nice, big trout. Oh, what a fish! Nice, very nice. 
Yeah, it's George nice Jeter right there. Wow. That's Got great. A yellow mouth, one single tooth. Yeah. It's a male. The females have two teeth. Right. Oh, really? That's yeah. how you tell? Yep. That's how good it is right there. Is uh, middle of the day, blue skies, catching them on the fly, on the cork, on the artificial, but awesomely on a gurgler, which is a top water bait or a top water fly. So Mark, I think we're catching quite a few fish. I think I'm gonna chat, we gotta do a challenge here. We gotta keep it interesting. All right. So what do you think about five casts? See who, the, who catches the most in five casts, possibly five fish in five casts. The challenge is on. It's like not video. Oh man, it's just every cast right there, boys. Y'all had to go back to corks and I'm putting it on you. So much better and gets no credit. He's a speckled sea trout. <laughs> you can catch these all day long. Damn it. <laughs> and there's the fifth one in five cap. Five uh, for five. Good job, Rob. That means you're buying the beer. Yep. Whoever called five first was buying beers with I. It's what I love. It's what I love doing. Take pride in what I do, and it's you know, there's nothing to me more exciting than uh, than watching people catch fish. I mean, that's that's what does it for me. Is seeing a big smile like you know we did today, and you know seeing somebody with a big smile on their face holding a big fish, their biggest red fish, maybe even their first caught on fly. Um, you know, it's uh, it's what excites me. It's what I love. It's what I have a passion for.